I got this tiny pot from a friend of mine that is making pots uh, and I am kind of destroying a little of the edge right here. I'm saving these pieces for later. Uh, I am going to make a little landscape in the little pot so for that I want a little picket fence. So that's what I'm working on right here. Welcome to my channel and uh, I hope you will enjoy this little video today. I rolled out some white clay in the thinnest setting on my pasta machine and first of all I cut two really long pieces here with a little um, space in between them. Now I am cutting out the poles for the uh, picket fence and I'm cutting them a little less than a centimeter tall. Then I made a tiny point on these small pieces here before I placed them on the fence and I'm just placing them with a tiny bit of a spacing between them uh, and I'm using some bacon bond to keep it all together when I am baking it and after that so that everything will stay together as one uh, uniform picket fence when it's all baked. So just do that all the way to the end of the little picket fence. So that's the fence and I'm gonna leave that for uh, later when I'm going to bake every part together. Here I'm making kind of a um, round shape uh, log thingy and that's going to be a tiny house that's going to stand in this potted plant. And I just measure it to make sure that it is not too big for the little uh, pot that I have. Here I am shaping a uh, witch hat, the cone shape. Uh, this is going to be the roof for the little hut that I am making. So I'm just shaping that into a pointy thing here and placing that on top of the white. Uh, and again, I'm using a tiny bit of bacon bond to uh, glue the two parts together when I'm ready to place it on top of the little white log that we made. I wanted to make a window in the roof so I cut out this weird uh, triangular shape and I made a tiny indent here for the window and then I'm just shaping it into the shape that I really wanted to and I am cutting it out in an angle as you see here from the top to the bottom so that the bottom is thinnest and the top is bigger and then I'm just gonna make sure it is exactly as I wanted before I place it. So I'm just playing around with it until I'm happy and then I will place it on the roof. And now I want a roof on that part, so I'm just taking a piece of uh, black clay that I rolled out again in the thinnest settings that I have. And I'm just uh, guessing how big this little triangular shape needs to be to go over the roof. Um, and it actually fits really well here. So I'm just putting the pointy part of the triangular to the roof itself and then the smaller pieces go down the side of the window just like we see here and there you have the ceiling or the roof for the little window. You could make a little uh, chimney for this little house or more uh, doors or windows and stuff like that but I decided to paint the rest on there now I am going to take this gray colored clay here and I am 
rolling that into a snake or a log and I'm cutting tiny tiny pieces of it and shaping that into small flat stone pieces that I'm going to make a staircase with. Uh, so I'm going to make a lot of these but I'm only showing you a few of them. Here we go. Now I am taking some uh, shimmery blue clay and I am poking out some flowery shapes from that. I want to make some smaller flowers with this. Then I am taking my dotting tool and squeezing that kind of into the middle of the flower so the leaves kind of wraps around the little dot on my dotting tool. This one uh, gives the flower a little more shape. Now let's work on the pot itself. I am taking some bacon bond and putting that in the bottom of this little pot here. And I had a piece of some brownish clay that I'm popping over the little hole so you don't see the green from the bottom. Uh, and then I'm using some rest clay from some old cane that I had uh, made f a few months ago. And I'm just stomping that into the bottom of this little pot. Now I'm taking a few of these small pieces that I broke off the pot and I am placing that here in around uh, where I feel like my little garden needs to be. So I'm just making sure it is good placed in there this little piece. You can put as many pieces in there as you want to, but don't put too many so that you don't have room for the decorations. Um, I should have stopped with one, but uh, I wanted one more so I did that. Then I am filling a tiny bit of more clay in the top. This is a brownish color, if you can see that through the grass and stuff like that. Later I want it to look like dirt. so I uh, brownish color and I place a dark gray at the bottom part of this little pot. I glued in the little house with my uh, femur liquid here to make sure that it will stay where I want it. And um, I got a little too much femur liquid there so I'm just gonna um, put it all over here because I want the grass to stick. And the grass is kind of simple to make. I have a log of green clay and I'm just scratching a tiny bit of it with a needle tool and then placing it around the little hut and placing it where I want it to. Take your time with this as it really takes a long time to do. Here I place the little picket fence. Uh, it is so soft that you can actually bend it a tiny bit without breaking it. So I shaped it around the edge of the pot and I am putting the grass in between and down so that you don't see the brown pieces. I'm dipping one of these smaller rocks into the femur liquid and placing it uh, in this darker or clay that I have here and I'm going to make a staircase with all of these small rocks pieces that we made here. You can make this as you want to, maybe longer or um, smaller than this one, but it's all up to you. This is just one way to do it. Then I am placing some grass in the leftover spots here, again just scratching a tiny piece of the green clay off and placing it where I need some more grass. Thank you. 
but we need some flowers in here as well so I am going to take the daffodils that we made uh, uh, some while ago and I'm just pushing them carefully into my clay where I want them to stand in this little potted thing And we need some of these shimmery bluish uh, flowers that we made earlier. So I'm just dipping them into the Fimo liquid and placing them where I want them around this little garden area here. Let's make another plant here. Um, I know what these are called, but I am not going to try to say the name of that because I know I will just butcher it. Um, anyway, I rolled out a piece of light green clay into a snake and I shaped it a bit like a teardrop and then cut off slices of it and then uh, shaping it a bit in between my fingers. This way it doesn't have sharp edges on there and it looks more organic. And then I'm just filling up this little spot here with the leaves from the outside to the inside. If you have room for more and you want more in this little pot, then please do so before baking. But I decided that this was more than enough for my little pot here, so I am going to bake it like this. So here is the baked pot. I actually think it turned out really, really cute. Now for painting on the windows and a door on the little house. Uh, and I'm taking my time and doing this with a very thin paintbrush to make sure that I I uh, can handle it a tiny bit better because I'm a bit shaky on my hands with these small details. I gave the flower here a tiny bit of purple on the ends of these leaves and I'm not gonna say the name again because I know I won't be able to. Um, I had some brownish clay here at the background and I'm using that for making the fence a tiny bit dirty and a few other details here and there, the little house and the stairways and so on. So that's the done result. I actually think it turned out really really cool. Uh, uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video, so happy crafting!